Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GMAT. We have been solving GMAT math problems out of this book here GMAT Review, the official guide, the 13th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The book contains 230 problem solving questions. It has 174 data sufficiency questions. We have already solved every single math problem from this book. If you are interested in watching the original solutions to any of the problems, you will find the original solutions from day number 1 through 250. Right now, we are in the process of redoing the problems and we are on page number 185. Please turn to it. Page number 185. And as it turns out, we are actually at the very last question today. The very last questions in our second series. We started this project Day number 251 is when we started redoing the problem, problems rather. Day number 251 where we did problem number 1 and that was on November 21st of last year, 2013. And today as I speak happens to be March 16th of 2014 and we'll do the last problem. So how long did it take us actually? From November to December, about, about, about 4 months, approximately 4 months. Of course, you know, we took our time. Now, when the new edition comes out, when... When the 14th edition comes out, when the 14th edition of this book comes out, and if you are at that point preparing for the GMAT, if you are actually going to sit for the GMAT at that point when the, when the 14th edition has already come out, then come back to my channel and look for the videos where we'll find a new series which will deal with the 14th edition. It will come out probably in a year or so. I don't know when. Let's take a look, let's take a look, at, the, let's take a look at the very last problem. Here's what we are told. 2 raised to four, 2 raised to negative 14 plus 2 raised to negative 15 plus 2 raised to negative 16 plus 2 raised to negative 17 over 5 we are, we are being asked equals equals how many times how many times this quantity 2 raised to negative 17 2 raised to negative 17 times how many, how much quantity equals all of this. So this, let's put it here, equals 2x times 2 raised to negative 17. And our job is to find this x. 2 raised to 17, 2 raised to 17 times what quantity will equal all of that. Let's find out, shall we? Shall we? Let's do it. Let's start then. What we're going to do actually, forget the 5 at the bottom and just analyze the top part here, right here and see what it boils down to. And now remember, the question is, this quantity here is how many times, how many times 2 raised to negative 17. So we're looking for, this is what multiple, or divided by 5 that is, forget about divided by 5 of course. So we are interested in some, some quantity times 2 raised to 17. So what we have to do here is to take out 2 raised to 17 as a common factor. That's the first thing we have to do. So that's what we're going to do here. Take out 2 raised to 17 as a common factor from the top. So let's do that. If we take out 2 raised to 17 as a common factor, then what are we left here? See, 2 raised to negative 14 uh, 2 raised to, if we take out negative 17 as a common factor, we need to get back to 14. So we'll have to have 3 here. We'll have to have 3 here because negative 17 negative 17 plus, plus a 3 is going to give us negative 14. See, when we, when we open the parenthesis, 2 raised to negative 17 times 2 raised to 3, this quantity times this quantity is going to give us 2 raised to negative 17 plus 3, and negative 17 plus 3 is going to give us the negative 14 that we have here. Similarly here, we'll end up with 2 raised to 2. Again, for the same very reason, for the same exact reason, that 2 raised to negative 17 times this quantity, 2 raised to negative 17, times 2 raised to 2 is going to give us 2 raised to negative 17 plus 2 which is going to give us 2 raised to negative 15. So 2 raised to negative 2 raised to 2 times 2 raised to negative 17. 2 raised to 2 right here 2 raised to 2 2 raised to 2 times 2 raised to negative 17 is going to give us 2 raised to negative 17 plus 2 which is 2 raised to negative 15 which is what we have here. Similarly this is going to be just 2 raised to 1 and this is already 2 raised to 17 so this is just 2 raised to 0. Well, then forget that part, 2 raised to 0. Again, 
If you like, we can show the last one here. This is the third one, and that's the fourth one, which is going to be the fourth one. The last one is going to be 2 raised to negative 17 times 2 raised to 0, which is same as 2 raised to negative 17 plus 0, which of course is 2 raised to negative 17. But the reason why we're making all this fuss, well, the reason why we're making all this fuss is because we mustn't forget this part. 2 raised to 0 is 1. Any number, any number raised to 0 equals 1. Any number raised to 0 equals 1. That's what they're trying to test here. That's it, we're done. That's all it is. That's all it is. We just have to figure out what these quantities are. So outside we have 2 raised to negative 17. And in the parentheses we have 2 raised to 3, which is 8. 2 raised to 4, which is 4. Or 2 raised to 2, which is 4. 2 raised to 1, which is 2. And 2 raised to 0, we just talked about it, is 1. 4 plus 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. 14 plus 1 is 15. So this thing boils down to 2 raised to negative 17 times 15. We are done. We are almost done. And the question is, this quantity, this quantity is how many times, this quant uh, and divided by 5. So now we have to take this thing, we have to take this whole thing and divide this quantity by 5. So, so let's do that now. So now we know that this quantity on the top here, this whole thing, this whole thing equals this. It equals 15 times 2 raised to negative 17. So now we have 15 times 2 raised to negative 17 and on the bottom we had 5. On the bottom we had 5 which we had left behind before. And if you divide top and bottom by 5, we'll end up with 3. And we end up with 3 times 2 raised to 17. And the question was, this quantity that, that was given to us, this quantity divided by 5 right here, right here, is how many times, is how many times 2 raised to negative 17. And we just found it. It is 3 times. x equals 3. This tells us, this implies, that our x that we are looking for is 3. It is three times, it is three times the quantity. That's all. That's all there was. That was the very last question, as I said. We are done with the series. We finally arrived here. Why well, we have finally arrived at our destination. If you need some personal help, if these videos are doing the job, that's great. If, if you're getting something out of these videos, uh, that, that's wonderful. That was, that was the whole point. But if you're looking for any personal help, if you need more help, you know how to get hold of me. You can go to my go to, go to the go to my website, keshwaniprep.com, or here here are some more addresses. All of these addresses will take you to my website here, prep for, prep for gmail.com. Go to my website, send me an email address, uh, send me an email, or you can give me a call, and I'll be more than happy to see what. One eight hundred eight zero eight P R E P. One eight hundred eight zero eight. PREP, give me a call and we'll see, uh, I'll see what, uh, whatever, whatever it is that I can do to help you achieve your goal. Do you understand? Good luck to you on the exam. It was a pleasure. Bye now.